Hi everybody, my name is Alistair and welcome to Carp Locker Boats. Today's video is about the rigs that we used in our last trip to Academy Lakes and I'm just going to show you how I tie them. We've got two that uh, we used, it's on a soft coated braid, size 5 short curve hook. And the second one also with a soft coated braid, uh, we used a size 4 and a size 2. So these are the things I used to tie my rigs with. Boily stop, I have a size 5 short curve, some shrink tube, an anti-tangle sleeve, tungsten putty, my hook link material which I'm using 25 pound Camatech soft that you can use whatever you prefer my braid stripping tool, a pair of braid scissors, a baiting needle and then a latch needle and then just some pullers to tighten things up and on my tackle box I've just numbered in inches to help me on the bank when I want to measure and then of course I need the boilies that you're going to use First off, I take about 14 inches of my braid. Then I strip off about four inches of the coating, take my braid, make a loop. I like to make mine about one centimeter. Make a loop, take our latch needle. Stick it through Pull it down Here's our loop for our boilie and the boilie stop Cut off the tag end with a size 5 hook. I'm using a 16 millimeter boilie, it's a bernat, very consistent catcher. Take your baiting needle. Just a safety thing, never push with your finger behind the boilie, you'll stick your needle into your finger. I've seen it happen. You hold it on the side, just twist it through. Through the loop, hook it in and slide it over. Just enough that you can get your boilie stop in. Best to have a separate pair of scissors for cutting your harder material and nylon uh, instead of your braid scissors. Uh, they tend to not last as long then. Next, you need a piece of silicone tubing, which I forgot to mention. It's about three, three or four miles long. Put it over your baiting needle.
So I don't do hook link. Take your hook, point towards the boilie, push your silicone tube over the hook point, just check that you haven't snagged your hook link material, it moves freely, and then you want your tubing around in line with the barb and then take the tag end put it through the eye of the hook like so this comes down to preference but a general rule of thumb is to have about five millimeters from the silicone tube to the boilie. You can make this longer. Just be careful if it's too long, your boilie can hook on the point of the hook. You can get away from that if you have some PVA nuggets. You can wrap around the hook point when you cast. That way it won't get snagged. There we go, and then the PVA will dissolve once it's in the water. So now I'm going to do a knotless knot. Just something to take note of. Where the eye of the hook closes, you want to do your wrap away and around. So I'm going to do seven turns. One, two. Seven, back through the eye of the hook, there you have it. Then to finish that off, make a small little kicker, take about 10 millimeters of shrink tube, slide it over Like so. Yeah, I don't have my kettle set up with me, but then I would steam that over my camping kettle and just bend it to the angle I want. So it would have a small bend like that which is up to your preference and I like to make my rigs about seven inches long so just measure off a little bit longer than seven inches make a loop and use a figure of eight knot so make a loop pinch it in your fingers Like so, twist it towards you, take a latch needle, through the hole, hook it onto your big loop, pull the big loop through the small loop.
Yeah, hopefully you can see why they call it a figure of eight. Looks like an eight. And then just tighten it down, adjusting it to the size that you want. Set your knot, and then cut off the diagonal. I leave about five mils. Then here you have the rig. What you can do now, take a small piece of tungsten putty. And then just where you stripped it back, put some putty in there, that helps just pin it to the bottom, and then where the coating been stripped back, it just makes a little bit of a hinge effect for a bit more play there. Okay, for the next rig, uh, just using a bigger hook. So I got a size 2 short curve, a kicker, <coughs> poly stop, using the same braid as before. Now I'm using a mini ring, about 3 more, tungsten putty and 20 more boilie this is a bloody spice it uh, holds my current pb of uh, 16.7 kilos and then again the other tools so again take off at 14 inches, I'm going to go 15 because the loop's going to be a bit bigger than the wraps. Uh, you may have to vary to just adjust it with practice, see what works for you. Take off 5 inches of coating. Look for your boily stop. Simple overhand knot again. The fingers light will work. For those that struggle like me sometimes, using a, if you make this loop a bit bigger, just remember you need to strip off some more of your coating. Take a latch needle, tease it down, Cut off the tag end a little bit. Take your boily baiting needle. Got a nice big loop, easy enough depending on what boilie stops you have. You can just take it off like that. 
pull down it secure now this time you can use a mini ring thread it onto your hook link material this is going to do the same job as the piece of tubing and just do overhand knot to keep it in place and again just have about five more from the boilie And this all comes down to preference. We take our hook, pointing towards the boilie, same position around the line of the barb. Just short enough so the boilie can't hook itself on the hook. Tag end through the eye. Wrap that around. Make sure it's straight in line. Okay, I'm going to do a knotless knot. Just had to pull some more coating off. Depending on how big your boily stop loop comes out, you may have to cut more coating off, more or less. So just play around with a bit. So one, two, three. Back through the eye. Line it up, pull it down. Here's our hook, the knotless knot. Now, instead of using shrink tubing, we're going to use a kicker or a liner liner, depending what brand or you want to call it. Thread it through your latch needle. These do come in different sizes for different size hooks. Generally, I think a two is one size. Then you get four or four up down to six. Um, push that over the eye of the hook. I think this one was for a size four hook. It's a bit tight. And just line it up. There we have it. And then again, about seven inches. Make a loop. Twist the loop towards you. 
that wrapped is baiting needle or latch needle pull it through Here's our figure of eight, and then just tighten it down. Don't pull too tight. If you don't have your pulling tool on the side, you'll definitely hook your finger. So just nip it down, cut off the side end. You can use two tools. Set the knots. And to finish it off as before, if you want, a little bit of tungsten putty to help pin it down. And there's the finished rig again. Where we stripped the braid away with the coating just gives us a little bit of a, a hinge there. Then you can put your anti tangle sleeve on when you're ready to use your rig. Like that, and that clips onto your leg clip system. Yeah, just to explain the mechanics of the rig and why it's made like this. Um, Manny for the the kicker. So, if this being the lip of the fish, and your hook is now in the fish's mouth, that is on your lead. When the fish lifts up, the hook will turn and catch into the back of the lip. So it turns in the back every time. Do it again one more time. Fish picks it up, pulls away, hook turns in the back of the lip. With the uh, Using the rigging there, it just adds a bit of blowback, a bit of play, the boilie can be ejected and the hook will remain in the mouth just that little bit longer to help catch. I find if I use a, a stiffer hook, hook link material um, right through that you don't have as much free play with the boilie and the hook. So there you would probably go with two different materials to tie a rig on a combi rig. This is the same rig that I just did with the five size 5 hook. I've just pulled the shrink tubing up to the front for demonstration without anything there. The hook doesn't turn as easily. Again, the bottom and it tends to slide out. So that's the mechanics behind having the shrink tube or the kicker on there just to create that bit of a bend. There's a 
another one that I've done that's ever so slightly curved. If you're using a curved hook, um, where have I got one here? You don't necessarily need the string tubing, depends on how aggressive the curve is. But I'll do another video on that later um, on the style I use on the rivers using a different type of hook pattern. Just something to note it's not necessary every single time you want to tie a rig. If you're going to do a couple at home before your session to put your boilie on. Once you've done a couple and you know you're using the same size hook bait, you can remove the boilie, measure it up on your ruler, and uh, you can then see how long this tag in must be for your boilie. And yeah, and you don't have to have a boilie every single time. So there you have it guys. That's how I tie my rigs. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe. And uh, I'll get to be putting out some more videos as and when we get to go fishing.